Hi, Gemini. What's up, guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're going to go ahead and do a love reading for you, okay? If that's something that interests you, please stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's going to have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. However, if you vibe tribe, so go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into this. So we are going to pull a yes or no. So let's do that really quickly. Yes or no for Gemini in love. I'm going to let you guys go ahead and focus in on a question that you have. I'm going to clear my mind and I'm not going to ask a question of my own. This is all for you, Gems, okay? What is the answer, please? What is the answer to Gemini's question in regards to anything, really, but this is a love reading. What is the answer? Oh, did you guys see that? Because I tried really hard not to look. So we are going to put that right there. We'll put it there on top of the feather. And that will be your yes or no that we'll answer at some point during this reading, okay? So we got the protection card, okay? Which is not the greatest card, I guess, to get for a love reading. But, you know, I got a couple messages. First of all, I got that you're really working hard on cleansing out negative energy in general. And this definitely includes in your love life, okay? There's really this energy here of wanting to find peace, wanting to find balance, and recognizing the toxic patterns, the toxic people that have been in your life, or even the toxic things that you've allowed yourself to indulge in, okay? So I am in that energy of doing a huge cleansing on your life in general, and especially when it comes to love, okay? Um, we have vulnerability that wanted to come out. I'm not going to keep them, but it says releasing heart blockages to give and receive love. I kind of feel like that is that energy, really, like working on being vulnerable, okay? I also got with this a strange message. I got like different portals, okay? Like Gemini, I just get this energy and this feeling here that you are on the verge of meeting soulmates right now, okay? Soul fam. I know this is a love reading, but I'm strongly getting the message here that you could be meeting your soul tribe right now, different people, various places, various faces, okay? Um, and I feel like you have options, whether you're aware of it or not, okay? Some of you guys are definitely aware that you have options in love. Others of you are not aware, okay? But I feel like there are soulmates that are coming into your... Um, it feels like into your energy, into your vicinity here, Gemini. Um, and I feel like you're going to be able to choose, you know, what paths you want to go down. Some of these soulmates could be karmic lessons. Some of them could be blessings, okay? So it really is up to you to be discerning and notice any kind of patterns here, all right? All right, so we're going to pull from the Moody Lovers Oracle. Oh, we haven't used that deck in a very long time. It is one of my decks, okay? Um, I just felt like using it because I don't have very many love decks. And we're going to obviously clarify with tarot. We're going to get some messages at the end. And if we pick up on a soulmate, okay, we will get some messages. All right. All right. So let's see. Messages, please. General messages for love, for Gemini. What's going on here? We got self-love coming out. Okay, Gemini. Right. Oh, I'm hearing. Oh. I don't want no scrubs. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging out the passenger side of his best friend's ride, trying to holler at me. Okay, so Gemini, maybe you don't want no scrubs. Like you're you're done with scrubs. Okay, you're again. That's really the energy I was picking up. Like you're done with scrubs. You're done with the toxic energies. Okay, male or female, guys. It says, do not forget your self worth. You matter too. Okay, you're important too. We have serendipity that wanted to pop out. Seeing, seeing the signs, angel numbers, songs, hearing their name, other strange coincidences. So some of you guys might have had to pull back from somebody in specific because maybe they couldn't get their shit together, okay? It's giving that kind of energy. It's like, I love you, but I love me more, all right? For some of you guys, you've been working on self-love and maybe you're starting to notice the signs letting you know that there is a soulmate that's coming into your energy soon, okay? Or you're getting yourself into that energy. Some of you guys are just not on the path of love. 
<laughs> you know, I, I like to do love readings every once in a while, guys, but I do, I'm, I'm aware, okay? I feel like that's kind of where I'm at, um, of just this energy of not really being focused on love, not really like sitting there pining or waiting for anybody. Um, you know, you have other things that your mind is on right now, okay? So some of you guys, you are seeing the signs that possibly there could be love that's around the corner. Um, this feels like I'm talking to single people, but take it as it resonates. If you are in a connection, Gemini, self-love is still important. Like you matter too. Don't be out here being the sacrificial lamb for your partner. If they have issues, they got things going on in their own life. You are not here to be anybody's caregiver, healer, anything like that. Okay. You are here to take care of yourself first. Okay. You fill up your own cup. You make sure it's overflowing and then whatever overflow you get from your cup, you then can give to your partner because that you matter too can be hitting really hard for some of y'all that are in relationships and it's like this person's priorities this person's job this person's emotions this person's family this person's fears and issues and it's like i got issues too you know so there's something here where some of you guys might be sacrificing a lot for a partner right now and i feel like spirit just wants to remind you that you know your self-love your self-focus is important too but if you are with somebody, yes, you're getting a lot of signs in regards to this person. You might hear a certain song that um, maybe it's you guys' song, okay? You might hear that song all the time. You're definitely seeing their name places and other strange coincidences. There's definitely this energy of like we are meant to be or we are meant to be on each other's path, okay? So some of you guys could feel like that about somebody, all right? Let's see, what else do we have for Gemini energy in regards to love, okay? We have soon, it says the energy is gaining momentum which I find to be so interesting guys because I was picking up that energy of like there could be something where you're I don't know you're getting into alignment with a soulmate okay for some of you guys this is this card is also reminding me of the soon out of the um, romance angels deck where it's talking about you know figure out what you want because then it's going to come into your life faster all right so the energy is gaining momentum, obsessed on the bottom of the deck. There could be somebody who's really obsessed with you. They want to come towards you, Gemini. I don't know, okay? I just, th this feels like this is for single people. I'm just going to be real with you. This does not feel like this is for somebody who's involved in a relationship or really seriously talking to somebody. You could be talking to several people, um, or you could just be, again, single and not talking to anybody, Gemini, but it just feels like there's been a big self-love focus, a big self-healing focus, okay? Um, and you are getting signs and synchronicity. Some of you guys could be seeing a lot of things that are just talking about love, maybe a lot of love readings, maybe movies that are talking about love, um, love songs coming on on the radio, okay? Um, I'm getting that energy for sure. Let's see, guys. Do we want anything else? Anything else? Because this isn't really giving me much, you know? I'm just saying. Thrown, it says, be sure this connection is not causing you to forget who you are, coming out on top of self-love. Yeah, for those of you that are in a connection right now, it's like, make sure that you are putting yourself first too. Everybody in the connection really should be putting themselves first and then that way everybody's coming first. It's like being in tune with your partner, knowing that just because your partner is caring for themselves, putting themselves first, doesn't mean that they're putting you last, right? It's like putting yourself first shouldn't be shitting all over somebody else, okay? So I'm getting this energy here of making sure that a connection is not bringing you down energetically for sure okay some of you guys can have somebody who's a little clingy like if you are in a relationship let's get something for the serendipity please if you are in a connection gemini there could be somebody who's a little clingy we have star crossed Ooh, gemini this connection seems faded and doomed all at the same time right uh, yeah, so I'm getting this energy of maybe you had to walk away from somebody, somebody had to walk away from you, Gemini, or maybe you just feel like this is what always happens with your relationships. It's always like not the right timing, somebody's scared to commit, somebody's still healing, somebody still needs time, you know, somebody wants to play games. It just feels like you might have met somebody, Gemini, where it feels like it was faded, but then it also feels like it was doomed. Like, you know, we live on the other side of the planet, we're from completely different cultures, or somebody's married. 
um, you know, somebody's got something going on, they, they can't commit to you. It just feels like that, okay? And some of you guys could get like caught up or sucked up in that twin flame cycle where it's like, this is my person and if I just wait long enough, they'll become available, you know? Um, and I'm not saying that that's not true, but I'm getting this energy of like, don't forget yourself, don't forget your needs. Some of you guys have other options out there and some of you can't see yourself with anybody but whoever this energy is that we're picking up on. <clears throat> Again, it's giving like, um, like twin flame vibes or like counterpart connection, you know, where it's just like, no, this is the person I feel like a very strong connection with this person. I almost feel like spirits wanting you to kind of like, you know, see what else is out there. I'm getting that energy very strongly, guys. Some of you guys might have somebody come in soon that makes this connection run for its money. Like it's given the energy of like, you're very focused on this person or whatever this situation is, even though it could be energetically bringing you down a little bit, okay? And causing you to be in that energy of waiting. And when you are in, in the energy of waiting, Gemini, it's going to cause energetic blockages. And that's what I'm getting for some of you guys. You are blocking your energy because you're waiting for somebody that's not available. Whether again, they are married, healing, going through their own shit, not on the journey like you are, right? Um, not up to speed, not at your pace, whatever it is. And it's unfortunate, you know, it really is. It's unfortunate when you meet somebody and you feel like you're all in, you're ready for this, and then they're just not for whatever reason. You know you feel the connection, you know they feel the connection, but for whatever reason, they wanna run or they got issues. It's, it is depressing and it does hurt, Gemini. But again, your energy has to be your focus point. Your energy has to be important here, okay? I just feel like there's another soulmate that's coming in I, I feel that very strongly this person could have family restrictions or problems with their children um there could be something where this person's married for some of you guys and it's just like it's unfortunate but what you gonna do gemini you gonna go bust up a whole marriage even if they're not happy that's their decision they have to choose to leave something keep in mind they are choosing to stay okay yes when you leave a relationship and you have kids you have money, you have businesses. These things are not easy to leave. You got community pressures and all of that, okay? It feels like there's something where it's like they could have all the excuses in the world of why they stay in this toxic situation. But at the end of the day, you need to see things for what they are and that is that they are staying in that toxic situation. This person sees a soulmate connection with you and they are choosing to not take part in it. I mean, I hate to come on here and be harsh and be blunt like that, but that is literally how you have to see things. Because if you let yourself live in this almost like fantasy world of, well, we're meant to be, so we're, we're always gonna be meant to be. Okay, but maybe not this lifetime. What if this lifetime you were meant to meet each other to be a catalyst for each other's spiritual growth and then there's somebody else out there that can give you what you deserve? but you're not open to this energy because you're so stuck on that. That is definitely what I'm getting. Okay, let's get something for this soon. You know, like what is, oh, oh Lord. Damn, where did it go? Hold on. Some of y'all are like, yep, yeah, that's what you get. That's what you get for lecturing us, okay? Go and go on fishing for that card. I know, hold on. It just feels important that I grab it. I can't see it. <gasps> y'all. I fucking swear, y'all, what does that say? Motherfucking new love, what? See, this is, listen, okay? That's exactly what I was picking up. Damn, okay? La Lune, some of y'all could meet this person under a full moon or during a moon phase that's significant. This person could be Pisces, Cancerian. A new connection is entering your life, damn damn okay i'm sorry that was exciting <sighs> that's the kind of thing that just makes tarot like amazing to me that kind of stuff right there okay so yes some of you guys have definitely been stuck on a person where it's star-crossed it might not be meant to be this lifetime and that is a choice again remember that is a choice that this person has made you guys have possibly been in this standoff type of energy with this person not getting anywhere with this situation but then at the same time not being willing to welcome anything new okay but something new is coming <laughs> i felt that so strongly because they were giving me like portal energy with this card over here 
um, which sometimes I do get, okay? Look, the ghosts of the past, okay? While you got all these pollinators trying to get up in your flower and you sitting here stuck on this ghost of the past, okay? Or this ghost of the present, because that's what some of, that's what it is for some of you guys. Like this person is not fully present in your life, so they're kind of like a ghost. You know, there's that moon energy. Some of y'all could have been seeing this in tarot readings, okay? Or in other divination, all right? So that is what I'm getting, guys, is that you have a new love coming into your life. And I feel like, honestly, once you allow yourself to be open to this new love, you're going to be thankful that you did. I feel like this, whoever this new person is, it's going to help you see that whatever this was, it was a devil connection, okay? It it may be something where this person was a counterpart, this person was a soulmate, this person, you know, does something to you, makes you feel some kind of way, all that good stuff, Gemini, but they were here to help you with some kind of ancestral healing. They were here to help you activate some kind of healing in regards to patterns, codependency, okay, something like that, runner chaser dynamics. Let's go ahead and get into this because your girl is excited after that, okay? Because I was like, you know? Anyways, all right. So self-love with the throne. What's this talking about for Gemini, okay? Spirit is saying you got to make yourself a priority right now and waiting for somebody to recognize your worth, get their shit together, recognize their own worth. Because some of y'all are stuck on somebody who's stuck with somebody that they know is not good for them, Okay. Like some of you guys, you do want to be with somebody and that person is with somebody else and you know that that person that they're with is horrible. All right, this is not for everybody. This could be family dynamics, it could be addictions, it could be mindsets, it could be their healing, right? They'd rather stay in karmic energy than actually rise up to meet you where you're at, okay? Whatever it is, they don't see their own worth and value. How are they ever going to see yours, Gemini? Okay, how are they going to see yours? I'm just saying. High Priestess with the Lovers. Wow. Okay. I feel like your intuition is telling you that. I feel like your intuition is telling you that you and your twin right now are, you have to be priority. Okay. Gemini energy coming out. Pisces, Virgo energy with the High Priestess for me. All right. Um, there could be something too where it's like you've been putting on this act. You've been trying to act like everything's cool. Yeah, I'm fine. It's cool. It's whatever. You know, I'm not waiting. Everything's good. But deep down inside, you're feeling burnt out. You're feeling weary. Okay. And some of you guys have been through it like this. Whoever the star crossed energy is, this is not the first time that you've been let down in love, that you have felt like you've been on the losing end here when it comes to love. So really making yourself a priority right now, really recognizing that, you know, you are your first soulmate okay the spirit is obviously a soulmate to you obviously okay but I feel like it's important that you put yourself first right now okay I do I get that energy very strongly that's important that you put yourself first you stay on your throne right now all right so don't let whatever this connection is look six of pentacles in reverse don't let whatever this connection is bring you out your energy because I feel like for some of you guys it's not equal give and take all right. I feel like you're the one that's always calling. You're the one that's always checking in. You're the one that's always giving patience. You're the one that's always giving grace. Okay. You're the one that's waiting. You're the one that's hoping. This person is caught up in whatever this person is caught up in. Okay. This person is breadcrumbing you, giving you whatever they can to keep you keep you there, you know, but they're not making an actual decision to come towards you. So yeah, I don't really ever call reversals, but I'm picking that up so strongly, okay? And, and I'm not going to sit here and say that it's malicious for everybody. For some of you guys, obviously, it probably is malicious. They probably do know that they're breadcrumbing you and keeping you around. And, you know, they know that they can call you when they need you. And you'll be there because you're in love with them. Like, yeah, there are assholes that do shit like that, for real, okay? Um, but for a lot of you, it's not malicious. It's just that this person has their own healing work to do. You cannot do the healing work for this person, okay? No matter how many times that you give them the pep speech, no matter how many times you, you're there for them, no matter how many times you save them from their arguments that they have with their spouse or situations or whatever it is, Gemini, whatever it is, okay? You cannot be this person's savior. They have to save themselves. You know, Love is great. Being in a romantic connection is amazing. It's wonderful, right? I feel like it's what a lot of us humans, Gemini or not, we, sh we want to find that connection. We want connection. 
at the end of the day, your own journey, your own healing journey is the most powerful relationship and connection that you will ever be in, okay? So some of you guys, you've already been in that. That's why it's frustrating for you. But this person is just not where you're at, okay? Let's find out about this person, the star-crossed lover. The, the Gemini is, um, I'm, hear, I'm, I'm hearing that song. I keep holding on. Okay, yeah, Gemini. Listen, Gemini, I'm not judging you. I've been there, trust me. I have definitely been there, okay? Um, but we all must see the light. Who is this person? <laughs> Who is this star-crossed lover? We have the Page of Wands, okay? And the Seven of Pentacles. So this person has a lot of work to do. This person is like just starting off on their path, okay? Um, I do feel like you came into each other's life this lifetime to, again, be a catalyst for each other, okay? To kind of be a gauge of where each other is at, okay? Where you're at, how much work you need to do, and to awaken them to their own spiritual journey because I do not feel this person as, as in spiritually enlightened as you, even if they do spiritual work or something like that or they're they know about divination or something or whatever guys okay because for some of you they possibly could all right with the high priestess out here um but i just feel like they're still not where you're at on your healing journey in your emotional maturity okay um knowing your self-worth because you know <laughs> i've never been married but i have been in a relationship where there was assets and kids and all kinds of things that need to be split up and financial things to consider and all that stuff and guess what i still had to choose me first because at the end of the day it was miserable it was toxic it was bringing my vibe down and when you care about yourself enough you will that will be important to you you know so whoever this person is they're a little immature definitely very you know attractive okay page of wands is very attractive very sexual very passionate all right but this person also can be a little here there everywhere um, this person does follow their lower impulses, unfortunately. This person could definitely be the type of person that just, you know, chases any kitty cat that comes along, unfortunately. That could be for some of you guys. Or, again, they just, you know, they go off on their own way, all right? The fact that this person has, like, a little knapsack and everything and they're on the road, it just kind of gives that energy of, like, kind of like, you know, Papa was a Rolling Stone, wherever he laid his hat, that was his home. So this person is just not really that advanced. They're kind of immature. I mean, honestly, they're not even coming out as a king or a queen. You know, damn sure ain't coming out as an empress or an emperor, okay? Coming out as a page, that's not very mature. I just feel like this person is not into like settling down at the moment. But, uh, Spirit is saying that this person does have the potential to one day turn into that king, queen, emperor, empress energy. But it might not be this lifetime and it might not be in the time frame that you're going to be able to wait. Okay? Give me more about this person. This person gets a lot of signs and synchronicities about you too with that serendipity. And I feel like that's one of the reasons why you hold on to this connection so much is because of all the signs, all the synchronicities, how divinely um, guided and led it feels, okay? Yeah, this person holds back their energy, four of pentacles, okay? I told you, this person does have the potential to be an emperor or an empress. I told you that. They do, but they hold themselves back. This person likes to play it safe or stay in comfortable situations, unfortunately. So if this person is, okay, I'm just going to be real. I'm sorry. I'm going to be real. I, I have to be. You're my fucking gang, okay? I have to be real with you. If this person is married and they're saying that they're staying for kids, they could be, yes. But they're also staying because it's easier, <laughs> right? It's easier to stay in something that's already functioning, albeit dysfunctioned, okay? But it's still functioning than having to go and start their whole life over. Who the hell wants to go and start their whole life over? It's expensive out there, okay? It's hard. <laughs> you know, us single people, we got three, four, five jobs, all right? So I'm getting the energy that this person stays for finances. They stay for comfortability. They definitely stay for kids. If there's kids, okay, they stay because this is where they feel like their survival is at. All, again, they're not happy there. And this person might step out on their connection with more than you. I don't say, I'm not saying that you're like cheating with this person or anything. If you're not, and y'all are just kind of acquaintances and you know, you're not taking, you're being honorable. You're not taking it there. This person could possibly be stepping out with other people. Okay. 
I just get this energy here with this four of pentacles that this person is staying because it's safe. It's a safe place, okay? This person has some kind of money or financial arrangement that's already set up with this person, Gemini, um, and they are protecting their energy here. They feel like this is where they have to be. They, I'm getting the energy of like, I don't have a choice. Why does this person stay in whatever this comfort zone is with this four of pentacles? Why does this person stay, spirit? Let's find out. Why does this person stay? We have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords with the Ten of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. You know, it's like <clears throat> they can come and go as they please. They already have a routine going. Um, they're afraid of the backlash that this person could give them too because this person might take them to court. Like, again, it's about being able to survive. Why does this person stay in whatever this comfort zone is? Why do they stay, Spirit? Oh, look. Three of Pentacles wanting to come out with the Knight of Cups, Queen of Swords, Force. It's giving the same energy. <clears throat> I'm going to take the top card. Because that's what they built up. And again, it's sloppy. It's not exactly a foundation here. You know, three Pentacles, four Pentacles. It's like they're trying. Even though this breaks their heart, I don't feel like they're happy here. <sighs> You know, like I'm not, I'm not getting like two of cups and 10 of cups and they're super happy. We saw the 10 of pentacles. That's again, financial reasons. That's the legacy that they've already created. Um, okay. So let's see. I wanted to ask, oh yeah, star crossed. How does this person, the star crossed person feel about Gemini? How does the star crossed person feel about Gemini gang? These cards are all sloppy right now. Ace of swords with the page of swords. Oof. They know. They know who you are and they possibly spy on you. They watch you. They look at you from a distance. Okay. They want to be with you, but two swords, that's indecision. Let's try to get a definitive like pop here, spirit, because I'm telling you, how does this person, this star-crossed person feel about Gemini? Ace of Pentacles. They feel like you would be a brand new opportunity, a seed that could be planted, right? There's so much potential here. This is definitely not a foundation. It's nowhere near to the foundation that they already have going with whatever this is. Again, I'm getting marriage for a majority of you guys. This could be somebody from the past too, um, but it feels like for some of you, it could be like a financial situation. It could be a family dynamic. It could be a community. It could be um, whatever, you know, whatever their situation already is that they have going. They do see the potential with you, but it's nothing to what they already have built. They don't feel like they're good enough for you or they feel like if they were to leave whatever this was to be with you, they would basically be having to rough it. I'm sorry. I know that sucks to hear that, but that's really what I'm getting. I don't really want to spend too much time on this energy. I want to focus on the new love. Okay. <clears throat> we'll get some advice at the end and possibly a soulmate message or two for this uh, star-crossed lover. Okay. Well, actually, I want to ask one more question <laughs> for this star-crossed lover. I want to know why this person showed up in Gemini's life this lifetime. Why did the star-crossed lover show up? Look, I told you, Gemini. So that you could learn some things. So that they could learn some things. And so that they can remove themselves from the bondages that they've set up for themselves. This person, this is ancestral healing on this person's side, possibly your side. There's, again, runner-chaser dynamics, a codependent type of energy here, um, staying in things due to social pressures, family pressures, community standards. This person is meant to break out of the prison that they have themselves in, right? But it kind of feels like they're choosing to stay. I feel like this is a learning connection. This connection is meant to teach both of you guys, okay? And um, this person is meant to see you shine. This person is possibly meant to see you move on, move on with your life. Um, and they got to learn the hard way, you know? You're a lesson for them. They're a lesson for you. But that's exactly what I was picking why, or picking up, excuse me, why they showed up in your lifetime or your life, excuse me, this lifetime. Y'all are meant to teach each other and help each other remove yourselves from cycles. You have possibly waited for this person for lifetimes, Gemini. Okay? Some of you have a deep sorrow in your heart is what they're telling me when it comes to this person. Like a deep sorrow. Like when every time that they don't leave their situation for you, every time that they don't make you a priority, every time that they show you that they're going to stay stuck, balls deep in their comfort zone, it's like a deep pain that hits your heart because you've experienced that pain before and you keep promising each other, oh, I'll be ready. I'll meet you. I'll be ready. I'll be right there. You're going to be ready, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be ready. I'll be ready. 
And I, I don't feel like they don't intend to be ready, right? It's just, that's not, I don't know. They're not learning the lesson. They're not doing it. They're not following through. Again, it's easier to stay wherever they're at. It's safer. They have money. They have investments. They have kids. This is a big cycle that they have to close out. It's a lot of sacrifice. And while you would be willing to sacrifice, Gemini, that's not, you know, it takes two. So if they're not willing to sacrifice, all right, new love. <sighs> new love, okay? Because Spirit is saying it's soon. The energy is gaining momentum when it comes to this new love. Like there, this person is either already in your vicinity and maybe you've been overlooking them. You might have already kind of felt the spark or noticed them, Gemini, okay? Um, Scorpio energy coming out. Pisces energy with the hangman. You might have already noticed this person, okay? Or you're feeling the call. That's the thing. Even though you're, again, still kind of invested in this and sad over this. For some of you guys. Some of you have let this go a long time ago, okay? But either way, you're feeling the call in a, in a new direction here. You're feeling that there is something that's out there. But judgment, this is somebody from a past life too, okay? Um, I'm getting this energy very strongly. Possibly there's always a choice between these two in each lifetime. You know, like you could sit here waiting around for this jackass and then maybe this one has been the one that's been waiting for you every lifetime. Damn, that is deep as fuck. I am sorry. Is that not deep? While you're sitting here waiting for this one, this one's always been waiting for you. Damn, Gemini. That's what I'm getting though, okay? Look, the fool with the Ten of Pentacles. This is where your Ten of Pentacles lies, okay? Because they think they have a Ten of Pentacles over here with this, whatever this is, but they don't. They have the Four of Pentacles, okay? Plus the Three, all right? Um, so what is that? Four, five, six, seven Pentacles, right? And we have Seven Pentacles. Yeah, so it's like, it's, it's sustainable, but it's not the Ten. You have a real Ten of Pentacles connection over here. And look, the Emperor... This person is an emperor or empress energy already. This person is manifesting you in from a distance. They're like, come on, are you done? Are you done wasting your time over there? Okay, I'm getting that energy very strongly. Yeah, this person is going to open up new things to you with the, the full new um, ideas, new possibilities, new energy, okay? This person could be uh, financially stable. This person could have a lot going for them financially, this person could already kind of be set up in their life, Gemini, okay? When you meet this person, like they're already doing the damn thing. I'm getting that very strongly. <clears throat> Let's get some more about this uh, this soulmate. Oh, what do we have here? Six of Cups, okay? Six of Cups popping, yeah. So this is, again, somebody from a past life, but this is somebody you're going to have an instant soul recognition to. It's when you open yourself up to the call, when you're willing to walk away from this or disconnect from this energetically, that's when this is going to open itself up to you. If you've already done this, then rest assured that the energy is getting momentum. Y'all are manifesting each other in right now as we speak. I'm picking that up very strongly, okay? Let's get one more about this soulmate. What does Gemini need to know about this new soulmate? ace of swords that you're going to recognize this person okay and that this is a true soulmate too this is somebody that is honorable they have integrity this person speaks the truth even when it it sucks okay this person could be honest to a fault um this person could be an air sign doesn't have to be okay i'm getting aquarius with the full we also have a scorpio over here i did see a sagittarius energy as well this person is going to speak the truth, but I feel like there's going to be a soul recognition with this person, okay? This person could definitely start off as a friend because, again, there could be a little bit of residual energy here of kind of hanging on to this thing from the past here. So I'm kind of getting that energy here that this person could start off as a friend. You could meet this person around other people or in a group of people, um, you know, in a community, out at a community event, out, you know, doing whatever. Y'all could date a lot, okay, and have a really good time. Y'all could just do things. Things that each other likes maybe go out on the town I don't know go to museums go dancing go hiking whatever it is that you like to do Gemini this person is also going to be really interested in your hobbies and your skills and your talents this is somebody who's going to really encourage you this person feels like they're more on your level 
Like, I'm not gonna lie, this person really does. Like, they feel like they're more on your level. I was like, can I get a signifier for this person? Look, King of Pentacles. I know that it's coming out in masculine energy, guys, okay? I don't know why the cards do that, but just rest assured, this could definitely be a Queen of Pentacles for you, okay? So don't sweat the gender at all, okay? Ten of Cups. Ten of Pentacles out here, Ten of Cups. This person's going to bring everything that you've been wanting from this connection. And the thing is, is when you start to open yourself up to this connection, when you see how this person encourages you, they support you, when you feel the soul connection, you feel the call, you see how this person, what they have going for themselves and how they're serious, they're honest. This person is not here to play games with you. Um, this person damn sure don't want you playing games with them. It's almost going to make you see the level up that you're experiencing here. It's going to make you see the state that you were in to even think that this was acceptable. Okay. I'm getting that very strongly. Now, let's go ahead and pull the yes or no. Choose a new direction, Gemini. Well, there you go, okay? Choose a new direction. And I didn't even mean to throw it on top of that car, but, or that pile, but it kind of landed on there, right? Let's get some advice and additional messages, and then we're gonna get some soulmate messages. <clears throat> we have the moon. For some reason, the moon is significant. Y'all can have a really intuitive connection with both of these ones, actually, to be honest with you, but definitely with this new soulmate, okay? You're gonna have a very intuitive connection. Y'all could dream about each other, astral travel together. And when you guys um, get into contact with each other or you start you know, working on this connection in a real way, you meet each other, I feel like you're, it, you, any, get, if I could speak guys, any gifts, any abilities that you guys have are going to start to increase, okay? It says you will be guided through this darkness. So right now it might feel like a really dark time. It might feel like you're a little lost. I don't know where I'm going. I thought this was my soulmate. I, I don't know. You will be shown a new direction, okay? Some of you guys, this person could be north they could be south take it as it resonates okay one could be north one could be south we have the hand of fate Ooh, forces beyond your control intervene stop in the name of love right <laughs> what does the song say before you break my heart think it over okay that's what i'm getting here like the spirit's like stop before you you need to check yourself for you wreck yourself, Gemini, in this situation, okay? Have the strength and the wisdom, <laughs> okay, to walk away from this because you are destined to succeed. You're not destined to wait or be somebody's like, you know, <clears throat> oh, God, it just feels like, you know, option, Gemini. <laughs> are you a fucking option? Did I miss the memo? I mean, I've been reading for y'all for years, okay? Did I miss the fucking memo? You guys are options out here? I wasn't aware of that. <sighs> Sorry, okay? Locked doors can now be open. Wow, I love these cards. They're so cohesive. That's what I'm talking about. Look, to your queen, okay? For some of you guys that were like, why is it always kings that come out? There you go. Love and prosperity. The door to love and prosperity is definitely gonna be open to this person because again, this person has a lot of love to give you, and this person has a lot of prosperity to uh, create with you. This person could already be prosperous on their own. You could be prosperous, whatever, take it as it resonates. But there's definitely like this energy of like, when y'all come together, it's like there's a lot of prosperity and love that can be created, okay? All right, let's get some soulmate messages, guys. Guys, okay. <laughs> This was just a very brief overview. I didn't go into too much detail with any of this because it's just, you know. Okay. Okay, let's first, first let's get some really quick messages from this star-crossed lover, okay? Ooh, that came out really quickly. Look, unblock me. Look, did I not say that some of y'all think you swear? It could be, I don't really know, okay? Um, I was on that twin flame boat and then I jumped ship like, immediately i was like this is not the boat for me i'm sorry guys it's <laughs> just not like undying love for somebody who can't even see my worth i'm good on that okay that's just not my vibe but anyways unblock me twin flame okay i miss you i want to connect please unblock me literally or energetically so we can speak i have a lot to say this could be your energy towards this person too but somebody kind of had to like put up energetic barriers because it's like you're not recognizing my worth here you know so you might have blocked this person, walked away from this person. Messages from this star-crossed lover. They could have blocked you, okay? Showing out. 
I am acting like I don't care about what's happened between us, but I do. I just want to appear unbothered. So this ego that this person has is bigger than their affection and their love for you. That's how I read messages like that. Like when you want to play games, when you want to show out, when you want to, you know, hold back and, you know, not text and wait to communicate. It's because your ego means more to you than me. So go ahead and be happy with your ego forever, right? That's how I feel about it. Like I hope you and your ego are very happy together. Okay. Um, this person has a very large ego messages from the star cross lover. Let's get one more others opinions. I feel bound by my culture and my family's beliefs on how I should live my life. I'm working towards breaking free from limiting myself based on their beliefs. That's exactly what I was saying, Gemini. Let's clear the deck. Beat the devil out this thing, okay? Yeah, the future. Literally, when I split the deck, the future. Okay, let's see about this new soulmate. Messages from this new soulmate, please. Let's see what we have here. We have let... I'm sorry. I'm fucking done. Okay, I'm, I'm just so fucking done. And this person gonna give it to you straight. I like this person, okay? Let the past go. I feel like that's just period. That's the message. Let the past go. Your future is waiting for you. Your future with this soulmate. I feel like I'm channeling this person right now. So I wanna say with me, but it's not with me, Gemini. Okay, I'm just saying with this soulmate, your future is waiting, okay? It says, can we rewind time and go back before we were both broken down by life, our past holding us back from our future? This person could have a lot of residual energy too or shit that they've had to work through as well. I feel like this person wants to have like a new connection with you. Like they want to, you know, frolic, right? Have fun. Like y'all were teenagers again before y'all were both like wrecked by life. Like let's enjoy each other. Like this is a new connection. You know, we can really trust each other. We can feel safe with each other. Like, can you remember all those years ago, way back when, like, it feels like ancient times when you actually weren't worried about being hurt when you met somebody. Can any of you even remember how that felt? Like when you first started dating and you actually did not think, oh my God, is this person gonna hurt me? You're just like, oh my God, I really like this person. That's what this person wants to have with you. I feel like that's the energy, honestly, that they're trying to bring. Oh, okay, Gemini. It says wild side, okay? There's a side to you that I haven't seen and I want to. I want to see you let loose and get wild. Let's have some fun, okay? Yes, Gemini. I'm so on this person's side. Look, the three of cups, I told you, this person wants to go out, they wanna date, they wanna do whatever you wanna do. You wanna go to museums, okay. You wanna go to the beach, okay. You wanna go kayaking, you wanna go, I don't know, fucking hunting, whatever you wanna do. They wanna do what you wanna do because being with you is fun. I almost worry that, the, again, the situations get a little bit reversed here. Like, they need to not lose themselves in the connection with you. You need to not lose yourself in the connection with this past person, waiting for this past person while they're waiting for you. You see what I'm saying? It's like a cycle here. Are y'all seeing that? So I'm kind of like, you know, make sure that this person gets to choose where y'all go sometimes too. Make sure that you're interested in this person's hobbies and skills and all that stuff too, okay? We have, you're so smart. It says, your intellect really turns me on. You're so smart and I really enjoy our conversations. So you're gonna have great conversations with this this person. You're gonna have a great time with this person. Look, I'm single. This person is single, not attached to anybody. Yes, Lord, okay? That's what we like, okay? We don't want somebody that is with everybody or with somebody already. And this is gonna be the last one, no one compares. It says, no matter how many people I've met and experiences I've had, there's no one that compares to you. Damn, this person's into you. This person's into you, Gemini. Damn. Who is this person? This person's into you. All right, Gemini. I don't know. That has been your reading. I do hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.